The Eva Perry Regional Library in Wake County, North Carolina, is home to the Newberry Book Club, where dozens of young readers in grades 6 through 9 read and discuss scores of new books. This presentation will let you see the Newberry Book Club in action, and will introduce you to Teresa Brantley, whose enthusiastic leadership and love for books is contagious. We will also announce our own Newberry Award winner for 2002. So, Teresa, please tell us about the Newberry Book Club. I started the Eva Perry Library Newberry Book Club in the spring of 1998. At the time, I was serving on the National Newberry Committee, so I was able to learn firsthand how the Newberry books are selected. It was fun to discuss books all year with a group of adults, but it is really exciting to do the same thing with a group of middle school kids. We pattern our book club after the real Newberry Committee. Once we have enough new books to get going each year, we begin meeting at the library on Friday nights. Each week, the kids take home armloads of books and come back the next week, ready to share their thoughts. As the year goes on, they begin to select titles they believe are distinguished, supporting their opinions. During the same weekend that the National Newberry Committee members meet to select their winners, our book club holds its final meeting of the year for the same purpose. We select our winners, then wait for the results from the Newberry Committee the following Monday morning. It is fun to see if we chose any of the same titles. I always look forward to Friday nights. I am hoping that our Newberry Book Club will continue for many years. We like to do a bulletin board that says our Newberry Book Club's choice. And what we ask you guys to do is to go around the library and choose books in the last year or two that you've read and enjoyed. And then we will put up a display that says Newberry Book Club Choice. Well, the books go like crazy. I'm getting it. So maybe we should start using this word, an award winner. And every book that you want to keep on there, you need to be able to say, it is an award winner. It would be in my top five books. Don't be so lenient with these books. We've got to trim them down. Some of these books, you, you could hear just a paragraph about a person, and suddenly you feel that you understand their whole life, you know, kind of what their whole life has been like. And you don't really know, but the author has a nice way of making you feel it. I think it would have been okay if the character had been someone I could relate to, someone poor and innocent who got knocked into this. This author made me care very, very much for this character. Well, everything bad that ha can happen, yeah, does happen, and the teacher gets fired because she's been living in school without permission. It's a really good book, and I believe that it could win an award. Oh, <laughs> looking for another the thief or queen of Atolia. Those were awesome books. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if it's an award winner, but it's good. And I, I don't know, I haven't seen enough competition. But I'm not sure there's anything special about the book except for the story. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's nothing yeah. special yeah. about Thea. There's nothing special about the writing. And so I'm kind of torn on this book, too. It also has a lot of um, symbolism, like the mask. So, you know, you can understand what she's feeling and why she feels that way. Yeah. Like when you said when she draws herself in, there's a perfectly understandable reason for her doing yeah. that. Yeah. I understand and agree completely with what she was saying. It makes no sense. I can't figure out whether Monster Eek is the monkey or the kid. <laughs> don't think it's a, an award winner. I mean, I like the book, I like the story, and I like science, I like magic, and I like fantasy and stuff, but it's just not an award winner. But this one was really funny. It's in Vermont, and the poems are really clever, but it just didn't really do anything for me. Okay. Sam, you do have something to, something to say about this one? It is an award winner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, they even have Meet the Merryweathers. I've been the same culture. Yeah, the yeah. And the reason I enjoyed it is it's a real slice of life that we did not experience. This is a girl very close to the age of, of most of you. It almost made me cry because it was so incredibly bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a really slow story where you learn everything in, a few, in like the last ten pages. I did not like this book at all. I'm not going to try to say any names of any other books or anything, but it really sounds like they're trying to copy something. Is it your top three? Oh, no way. Yes. Oh! You cannot win. It's the last three. You can't win. Is there anyone other than us? 
adults who would give this book an award so far. Well, there's no way. All right, all right. I loved the letters that she wrote to her mother, especially the one that says, Dear Mom, I hate you. Love, Ruby. I totally under those things. I just would never have. Okay. You wouldn't give it an award. It's my favorite book so far. Really? I really liked it. Okay. I think it's really good writing because she climbs up the tower. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. Okay. This is unique. It is very, it's got comedy. Uh, it was very distinguished. <laughs> <laughs> Because I love this book, and I can't decide. It's just what you said. I, I don't know that it's great writing. I just loved the yeah. story. Yeah. Well, I really like this book. It is in my top two. According to some, that's the Newberry winner, according to some adults. It so is the Newberry winner. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> the whole thing is about their relationship. and Oh, it's just so nice. I really enjoyed it. I see what you meant, David, about when she went to that alcoholic yeah, and non hard It made it seem like, I, I, as soon as I read that part, I thought, I see what David meant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a great book. It's about this girl who's a dancer. It's a really good story if you read the <coughs> words, but it's not if you read the whole book because it, it doesn't really start and, and it really never ends. I don't particularly care for the books he writes. Uh -huh. I've never had much of an interest in them. Uh -huh. And I read that one and it, it was nothing special to me. Okay, I just, there wasn't anything about it, even though it was definitely different, I didn't like it at all. Okay. Is it in your top five? Or top 15? <laughs> <laughs> top five. Joke, joke. Yeah. It might be a winner or have second potential. Okay. This is the best book club book I've read yet. These are the ones that have gotten the top vote. I appreciate it. And we've got the books down to five now that we're going to choose for our Newberry Medal. It's time to convince the rest of us. It was not predictable because they would throw twists and turns at you. You thought you knew what was going on. And that was... I think I'm going to have to do this. Okay. If you had to choose between these two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Raise your hand for Benno's Bear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Everyone, Benno's Bear is our choice for the Martin Newberry Medal for 2002. Woo!